What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It was a Super Bowl yesterday. Don't know too much about football. Again, like being out of like being non-American, like, of course, we all know what it is. And we know that everyone's massive and incredibly, like incredibly, incredibly athletic. And it's a it's a rough game. I enjoy watching a game here and there, but I don't really I don't really watch. Right. But a, a lot of us will watch the Super Bowl no matter where we're at. So. I don't know who you were rooting for. It seems like I'm supposed to like make fun of Eagles fans for some reason. I don't know what that's all about, but word. I was uh, debating whether or not I should maybe like skip the national anthem because I knew Chris Stapleton was singing it and I wanted us to enjoy it together because you, a lot of you guys have introduced me to Chris Stapleton. So I was debating here and there and then I eventually had no choice. We got to the party a little late. The, na the anthem had already started. I mean, had already been done. The game had started. So let's watch it together. So before we get started, um, as a reminder, I am a uh, immigrant. I didn't become a U.S. citizen until about two, three years ago. I did move to America, though, like in my late teens. And now technically I have lived in America longer than any place else. And again, I was sworn in and everything. And it was a freaking beautiful, amazing experience. So it's cool going to events like this and actually like putting my heart on my chest and being all in. It's a, it's a beautiful anthem, dude. My family, we're so lucky. We, we got over here, man. Can't, I can't express that enough. Chris Stapleton has one of the best voices I've ever heard, so I'm excited to see what he's going to do. Um, this may have nothing on uh, Fergie's performance in the All-Star game back in the day, the NBA All-Star game, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be fun. To honor a my bad. I'm, repl I'm replaying it because my I forgot to turn on the audio onto my headphones. To honor America with the performance of the national anthem, eight-time Grammy Award winner Chris Stapleton. How many times? Eight-time Grammy Award Jeez. winner Chris Stapleton. All right, homie's no joke, dude. He's the truth. and you see. Goodness. And twilight has gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we walk was so Always I'm with you, bro. It's beautiful, dude. Dude, look how he's just moving them to tears, bro. Me too. Gosh. That was extraordinary, bro. How did he do that? What is it? Um, just okay. That rasp, that blues voice he's got is unbelievable. It's somehow like I'd ever noticed, but rasp like that can like add a huge like feeling to the song because it almost feels like a cry out, like a very genuine something. With just that the broken down telecaster just playing the 
super simple, like not even chords necessarily. Sometimes it would just be just a note on the bottom string. Sometimes we get people singing the national anthem who just want to freaking just, I don't know, man, just show off and riff like nobody's business, like, but just for the sake of, of doing that. But it felt like he was trying to sing the anthem <laughs> and focus on that. And it's uh, it's clear that it worked because man, that was cool. I've never, I've I've never really seen like the football players like that touched by the performance. That was cool, very cool, very, very cool to see. Um, I just I'm dropping crap all over the place here. Oof, Chris Stapleton, bro, he's the truth. Freaking watching the dude, just coming and crushing it. That was unbelievable. <laughs> 